What's going on guys, it's Kyle the How'd You Get 123 here and today I am back with another tutorial and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to upgrade to Windows 10 from either Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1. Now this is a requested video from Perfect Gamer 26 and uh, he's asked me to do this video so uh, thanks for your video request. If any of you have any uh, video topics you want me to uh, make a video about, I'll leave them in the comments section below and I'll be more than happy to make uh, a video about it. So anyways, let's go ahead and get right into this. It's very simple to do actually. Uh, now the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that uh, the current version of Windows we're on is actually activated. Now this isn't a must, but it will be recommended because um, when we actually finish upgrading to Windows 10, we want to make sure that's actually activated. So uh, on Windows, I mean, I'm on Windows 8.1. Uh, if you're on Windows 7, this is the exact same process uh, to upgrade to Windows 10. But to find out if our Windows is activated, all you have to do is come down here. Well, on Windows 8.1, just come down to the Start menu and then go to the Settings here. And then go to PC and Devices. Then PC Info, and you see here under Windows, uh, and under Activation, it says Windows is activated. Now, this isn't a must, but it's just when we actually upgrade to Windows 10, we want to make sure that's activated. So we have a legit copy. Now, you can still do this if Windows isn't activated. It's just uh, when we actually get to Windows 10, you're going to have a little watermark saying that Windows isn't activated. You won't be able to personalize your computer, like you won't be able to pick a desktop wallpaper or anything. And uh, you might get uh, quite a few notifications from Microsoft in the corner here bugging you to actually activate it. But in the end, it's still a fully working uh, copy of Windows. So that's how you find out find out if your version of Windows 8.1 is activated. Now if you're on Windows 7, all you have to do is uh, go to Control Panel. So let's go to Control Panel real quick. And then if you go to System and Security, then System. And then under Windows Activation, it should say that Windows is activated. And now um, one more thing I want to mention is that up here you can see that I'm on Windows 8.1 Pro. So when I upgrade to Windows 10, I'm going to get Windows 10 Professional. Now if it said Windows 8.1 Home, I'd get when I actually upgrade to Windows uh, 10, it's going to say it's going to give me Windows 10 Home Edition. And that's the same if you're on Windows 7. If you're on Windows 7 Professional, you'll get Windows 10 Professional. If you're on Windows 7 Home Premium, you will get uh, Windows 10 Home Edition. But anyways, let's actually go ahead and get right into this. So we can exit out of all this stuff here. And you're going to want to first uh, go into the description. And I'll have a link to uh, Microsoft.com here where we're going to download this uh, Windows, 10 media or Windows 10 Installation Media Tool. And uh, this is what's going to allow us to actually upgrade to Windows 10. So go ahead and click the download button here and wait for it to download. Very small file, so it shouldn't take too long. And now I'm just going to drag it to my desktop for easy access. And now uh, we can exit out of this. We don't need it anymore. And one more thing I do want to mention is uh, I'd recommend that you make it backup uh, before we go ahead and do this. When we do upgrade to Windows 10, we'll still have all of our apps, all of our programs and files. But just in case something gets messed up, I'd recommend making a backup before you go ahead and do this. And I'm not responsible if, you know, anything gets messed up and you uh, lose everything. But now let's go ahead and open this. So just double click on it and then click yes. Uh, now this one is going to pop up. Just give it a couple seconds to get ready. Alright, now uh, click accept. And wait a few more seconds. Alright, now on this page it's going to ask you what you want to do. Make sure that upgrade this PC now is selected, then click next. And now it's going to actually download Windows 10, so we're going to want to wait for the pr uh, progress to go to 100%, so I'll be right back when this is done. Alright, so now once it's done uh, downloading Windows 10, it's actually going to uh, create, it has to create the Windows 10 media. So you're going to have to wait again until the progress is 100% again. Downloading took about 5 minutes, so you're probably going to have to wait another 5 minutes for it to create the Windows 10 media. And I forgot to mention, you can actually continue to use your computer while this is going. 
So I'll be back once it is uh, done creating. Alright, so once it's done, it's gonna close off. And now this is gonna pop up again and it's gonna start to prepare. Alright, once that is done preparing, this is gonna open back up. And then I'm, it's gonna check for updates. I believe this is, um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is, I'm not sure if it's getting updates for Windows 10 or just updating the media creation tool. But then it just closed and checking my PC. I think this is where it's gonna, uh, now it's done downloading, it's gonna start to actually do the installation. It's gonna ask us for what, what uh, files we wanna keep. Yep, all right, so now we'll click accept. Yeah, this is where we choose what to keep. Uh, well, it's getting updates, so I'm assuming it's updating Windows 10 to get the latest update of Windows 10. So basically, the setup is just has to go through a bunch of things to make sure that Windows 10 can. Well, first of all, like like you just saw, it had to download, um, create the installation media, then update. Now it's just making sure that I guess that our computer is ready to install it. That uh, it has the rec uh, the recommended specifications to actually run Windows 10. All right, now we are ready to install. So uh, we are installing Windows 10 Pro because uh, I was on Windows 8.1 Pro. Uh, we're keeping all personal files and apps. I'm pretty sure, I'm surprised they didn't ask us what uh, we want to keep, but we can actually change that right here. So if you want to just wipe your entire computer, click nothing. Uh, if you want to just keep your files, but all your programs are going to be deleted, then choose this one if you just want to keep your files, but not your programs. But if you just want to keep everything the same, then choose this one. And that's what I'm going to choose here. Uh, granted, I don't really even have anything on, but well, I have nothing. This is a brand new uh, virtual machine. So, but anyways, I'm going to choose keep personal files and apps because I'm pretty sure that's what everyone wants to choose. And then click next. And now, uh, it's going to, uh, okay, I just went through that again. But now we can just go ahead and click install. And now it's going to start installing Windows 10. So this is probably going to take, uh, a couple of minutes. Probably more than a couple minutes actually. So I'll be right back. It says up here that your PC might uh, restart several times. So uh, don't be worried if your computer tries and restart. That is uh, totally normal. Uh, I'll be right back when this is done installing. All right, so we are back. So the installation part took about five minutes. However, it had to update and that took about an hour and a half. So uh, I just cut that part out, but uh, we're finally in Windows 10 and don't worry about the black bars guys. Yours will be perfectly, you know, it, it, the screen will be normal on your, your screen. It's just because I'm in a virtual box. Uh, that's why it's, uh, you see the black bars here. All right, so now it's going to take uh, a couple se seconds to uh, set up our PC fully. Now everything, once we get in, it should be fine. We're not going to have to make any accounts or uh, we shouldn't really have to make any adjustments to Windows 10. It should just bring us right into Windows 10 after this and all of our stuff should be there. So I'll be back once this is done uh, setting up. Alright, so now it's actually asking us to uh, choose our privacy settings. So this is totally up to you if you want to turn any of these on or off. Uh, I usually just turn them off. But this is this part is totally up to you. Uh, now go ahead and uh, click accept. And uh, wait for this to load. All 
all right so now we are here in windows 10 so automatically just opens edge we can close out of that and uh everything should be here you can see actually our media creation tool uh that i downloaded before is still here all of our files and programs should still be here i still have chrome installed uh it's pretty good let's go ahead and actually check i'll show you guys that we are on windows 10. well here's the start um menu from windows 10. uh I'll just hop over into settings here and let's just make sure that windows 10 is activated so yeah, so to check if it's activated, you just go here to uh, system in the settings, then go down to about, and then uh, if we go down here, uh, here's our Windows specifications, I want to make sure if it's activated. So it doesn't actually show here in the settings that I'm activated, I don't see anywhere, there might be, I might just be missing it, but actually if I come down here to related settings, and then click on system info, it opens up the uh, control panel here and uh, you can see windows is activated so we're all good see here we're on windows 10 and that's pretty much it all right guys so that's the end of the video we have successfully upgraded uh to windows 10 from windows 7 8 or 8.1 uh, so if this helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. Uh, please subscribe if you would like. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.